Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Megasigla here, another episode of Utopia, Creation of a Nation. Uh, let's see, June 3rd, 2095, I believe we've already taken care of all of our trading and everything. Yeah, we already knocked out this month. <coughs> Not a bad thing, though. Our turrets are still going crazy shooting at whatever's over there. I know that's where the alien city is, but you can't, you can't really see the enemy. I mean... I think I showed this off before, but we're on a chunk of the planet. We're not on the whole planet. So it's it's kind of funny seeing our turrets just go absolutely nuts. What is that? Six tanks? Three, six tanks. I'm happy with that so far. Uh, what's this? Oh, the new sports center. Okay, right, 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 right. Oh! What was that? Oh, buildings. Okay. I was like, I just saw six tanks a second ago, and I'm seeing a crap ton more. Very good. Nice, slow, steady construction is how we've been playing this out. want to make sure we have all of our needs met, and that looks like that just finished, the sports center. And I want to make sure, we're, we're really trying, the end goal is to get our quality of life to 100%. That's the whole point of the game. No matter what you do, that's the key. So we've been trying to do that with a steady increase, even with higher taxes. It's been working out pretty well to our advantage. Let's see, we're at 11. How much money do we get per month? Uh, 34, so that's 23. We're at 23,000 a month. I can easily bump up some of my researches and that sort of a thing. That gives us plenty of money for uh, investment later on. <clears throat> oh yeah, and then when I can come here and sell a crap ton of fuel, a little bit of ore. Yeah, that's good. We're almost back to the same amount of money we had. Let's check in with our advisors. I'm kind of feeling a shortage coming on. Nope, not by a long shot. Still good on power and everything. Um, I might turn up the population growth rate, and then we'll add a, a residential district. So let's see, how are we doing on space? This is all pretty much taken. Um, I could add way more tanks probably over here. I don't want them to get clustered though. Uh, you know what, I'm going to branch off over here and expand our military a bunch more. I think that's a smarter, a smarter approach, considering our end goal is to destroy the alien city. I think that's a smarter move on our part. Let's see here. Uh, how did that look on the map again? Yeah, I think here's fine. So there's that. Another flux pod. There's a long distance radar. Nothing is more annoying, in my opinion, than your flux pod getting destroyed when you're starting to expand. Or if you don't defend properly, having a bunch of the chains or a bunch of the links in your armor just smashed. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have to wait for that flux pot. That's fine. Um, like here, while well, we're trying to expand out with this subsection, if we were to lose this one and this one, or I, I didn't get it right. There we go. This one and uh, those these flux pods, if they get knocked out, it's such a pain to re-expand. Or if you get severed off from the main colony, that's even more painful because you have just huge gaps if they're really sending in the tanks. Uh, in Gamma Lucra, that would really be a problem, but I think we've got our position really handled down here, and we've expanded quickly enough that they haven't been giving us much of a problem. So 23,000 puts us at 49. Yep, 49, right around there. Let's bump this up to 20k. Again, I don't want this filled up, but there's going to be times where I'm not going to be paying attention, and while we have the cash, there we go, I'm happy with those numbers. That'll take care for about, I don't know, six, seven months. Yeah, sell the fuel. Holy crap. Money, money. Let's sell down some of the weapons. 16's a really good price. And maybe not the best. Maybe we would aim for like a 27 or something, but it's still way better than what I would have expected. If it if it ever dips like that, you're going to have chunks of time where it's just crap. But that's not a bad deal. You can pick up a bunch of weapons on the cheap then, too. So, you know, it's give take. It's not too bad. Let's put... Uh... Is one or two here. There we go. Okay, so that was a bunch of turrets. We're gonna wait a couple of turns and we'll have. Where's my tank here? There we go. Oh, actually, I can get building immediately. 4,800. Heck yeah. So the way this works is if we tell it to attack the alien city, I think all the tanks just move south. Um. 
it, that's a little it's a little weird i mean this is the south the edge that we're on right now but i don't think it's very specific like it might be a little bit wonky i don't really know how to explain what i'm trying to explain so i might stop explaining <laughs> Um, I think we'll be fine. We've got plenty of open area. I just wanted to make sure like these turrets we put in the middle to block on purpose. I did that because I didn't want a bunch of tanks running over each other. So hopefully that's not going to cause problems. Ding, ding. Ding. And ding. That's a bunch of tank yards right there. If we can get three or four more tank yards, that would be perfect. Yes, sell all the food. Bam, two more tank yards right there. I can dig it. I can dig it, I can dig it. Okay. So. Let's really spread these out. Perfect. I'm happy with that. They gave us what? Seven? Earth demands 12 scientists. You will be fined 219 credits if you do not comply. Now, the funny thing is... Both the scientist number and the money number are factors based on your money, whatever you have on hand. So let's do some mental math. Let's say we have 2,000 credits and that's 200 credits for being fined, that's 10%. So we have a little less than that, uh, let's say it's 14, 13%, just like really rough mental math. So <clears throat> I think it's about there. We have like 50 scientists, I think, maybe more. I'm not too worried. Either way, uh, no. Um, when they ask for tons of scientists, or they ask for a ton of money, then I'll say, yeah, comply, go for it. We have enough people, we have enough workers, that's not that big of a deal. We'll get more people working, that's fine. Like, training new scientists is going to take, what, two months? Who cares? Um, but right now, I'd really rather just keep, keep our current pace. When we get a few more of the more important techs knocked out, then I'm not going to care. Uh, more specifically, fuel transportation... Or what is it called? Matter teleporter? There's a structure you can build that automatic automagically teleports fuel to your ships. Oh look at that. Speaking of way too much fuel for my own good. Okay, I lied. I wasn't happy. So I built uh build three more. Bam. Yes! Vaccination. This new drug gives your colonists protection from any alien virus. Awesome. That's the kind of tech I was waiting for. You uh there we go. Yeah, we'll sell gems at 8, that's fine. Uh, speaking of which, while we're here, let's check on how many scientists we even have. Oh, 50, okay. 12 might have been a, a serious chunk out of that, but that's okay. Um, Alright, next month, we're going to build more fuel storage. And, yeah, I'm still happy with the amount of people we have. I haven't decided if we should update that birth rate gonna want more power plants. I need another power district. The problem is I'm starting to move the power plants into my own residential and everything else. So that's kind of eating up a lot of space. The music is just hypnotic. And it's still alternate, alternating enough. Like, before when I said that you thought, like, the... F yeah, I know that, dude. What do you think I'm going to work on? <laughs> I'm still really glad our quality of life is up to 52%, even with the tax rate. That's still pretty darn funny. Oh, what the crap was I saying? Oh, yeah, you think the same three or four beats would kind of drive you crazy. But the benefit is, it doesn't. It, it's, it's different enough. There we go. I'll take another 20,000 paycheck bonus from selling stuff. There, see, selling weapons for four? That's freaking terrible. Okay. That takes care of our fuel storage needs forever and ever. Amen. Still good on food. Still good on air. Power, we're getting close on. I think we're getting 24 of our power from solar panels. So the issue is, can we live on 1050 power production? Yes, we can. No problem. Everything else here, we're still producing surplus ore. I like that. <clears throat> What's your deal? Still plenty good. Um, how are we Supreme Commander? We have 17 hover tanks. 
I think we have, what, 14 or 15 tank yards? It's vital we have more tanks. Well, why don't you just sit your butt down and wait, because we're going to have way more. Now, I do want to check on our stores. It's been a while since I've expanded our store storage. Yep, I think each store holds a thousand. I could be very wrong with that. I don't quite recall how many, how many these things hold. Uh, let's just get that topped off. Oh, not enough colonists again. That's the thing, now our trade has picked up so much that everything's really kicking off. The amount of money that we have on hand is greatly increased, the amount we're getting in and out per month greatly increased, and mostly because of our trade and everything else. Now the taxes are kicking in. We can still do this pretty well, stay at the rate that we're at, without a problem. I don't think we'll have any issue fighting these aliens. Earth commends you for your new cleaner industry. Fantastic. They finally got back to me about that. <laughs> okay. Yes! Freaking awesome. That's my favorite tech right there, the meteor screen. Advanced tracking lasers will destroy any meteor before it can reach the planet. That's brilliant. Love it. Okay. So we added more fuel capacity. We added, what, 8,000 more store? 6,000 more store? Let's add more security. And I want to add a little more industry. Let's get a few more workshops going on. And that's probably going to set us for our limit for power, to be absolutely honest. We might need to seriously start expanding. And as I've been doing, I've been really trying to keep my power plants away from my residential. Oh, yes. Thank you. That just freed up a store. Fat paycheck. I like it. Uh, buy weapons for seven? Yes, I will. We can, we can easily double, triple that money. I'm fine with that. Sell gems for 100, yes. Sell tech for 24, yes. Bam, back in the black. Awesome. Very good, okay. We're just gonna... Oh yeah. <laughs> Later on, like, like I was saying a couple episodes ago, when I was playing with my buddy Mike, what we would do is we would have this game so cranked up. We'd have so many people and so everything. You build whatever you want. You want to add a power district? It's gonna you're gonna build like 30 power plants this turn. I'm not kidding. That many power plants in one one month. Go. You have enough people, you have enough everything, just go. Like just building massive projects. Even if we didn't defend ourselves, we had so much crap the enemy would have to burn through anyway. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. It was a lot of fun. Come on, finish, finish another store or two. Thank you. Dang it! Yep. Bink. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna crank this back up to the 15. Make sure those research grants are nice and plump. Yes. Oh my God, it's months like this that I love. You know what? We're just gonna sell 84 fuel. I don't care if it's only three. We have way too much anyhow. Sell weapons at 10. Alright, so we just bought them at 7. Even if we just sell them at 10 right there, still a nice profit. Uh, we're not going to do that, though. Okay, now I've added more security and more workshops. I'm going to need another residential district because slowly I'll start running out of builders. As we've demonstrated before, it's a slow... Well, I don't know if I actually demonstrated it, demonstrated it, but it's a slow uptick. So we'll lose them eventually. Uh, the people to work in the actual facilities, as opposed to being idle builders. Okay, now, I want that. Flux pod there. Flux pod there. Perfect. I don't need any more... I don't require any more air at all. But if we're going to turn up the... Oh, can I... Yes, I can. Perfect. This is going to be another spot for more power. One... Two, three, four? Nope, it hurts right there, isn't it? Yep, that's okay. That's 150 more power, happy with it. With that, let's add, eh, I could add a couple of these guys, why not? One, two, three, oh yeah. <laughs> not enough colonists available to build. Did our project finish even? Um, finishing, I think. That should be done almost any second now. So we're going to add two more Space Moss Converters. We're also going to add two security out here. Did they finish? 
Very good. They either finished or I got enough people to build two more. I don't care which. Very good. Okay. Good expansion. I'm happy with that whole thing right there. Back up to 14. Sure, why not? That's where the number... That's where the number stopped. I'm down with that. Sell weapons at 13. Again, it's just getting better. Uh, nothing else looks good. We're gonna we're gonna wait on all that. Okay, how are we doing on tanks? We have 29 tanks. I want to wait till that number gets to about a solid 50. My normal policy with most uh, real-time strategy games is you should emphasize attacking only once. Now, what do I... Oh, what the... Two tanks? No. Get stuffed. Boop. You can take $1,000. I'm not... I'm not letting you just steal tanks. What the crap was I even saying? Oh, right. Uh, my theory about RTSs is, is really you should try to only attack once. Meaning, build up the army big enough so you only have to attack the enemy once, wiping them out. It's such a pain to attack with a small force and like, yeah, this will be enough, I'll take them out and make an investment on like some really expensive small units only to have them trashed by the enemy where if you would have waited a little bit and had three or four more really big units you could have actually done something. So the same thing applies here. We're going to wait till we have about 50 tanks. I like to wait about 50. I think that's about smart. And then we're going to Stormtrooper in. What that's probably going to do is soften the enemy up a bunch. It's not going to cripple them or destroy them completely. There we go, 16. That's double the money. That's double the 7 we paid for. I'll take it. Extra cashy money. Because I want to start expanding. What the crap was I saying again? Oh, right, right, right. So it's more important that we make sure that... Hello? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what the heck just happened. It's more important that we ensure our attack is final, if possible. Can I... Oh, good. Right there is the limit, apparently. We're not going to go too super crazy with these turrets. Um, we did build those fresh power plants, so I'm not too worried about it, but we're going to go something like... Ding. Ding. Okay. How far can I go here? Was this the limit right here? Okay. Uh, hey, fine by me. And... Okay, also fine by me. I'm just going to cut this off right here. No problem. That's probably going to be enough defense, considering they've been coming from the... What did we get? One tank in the west. We got one tank in the north. And we haven't even seen a lot of alien activity. They must be slow to tech up. And hey, that's fine by me. You don't hear me complaining. 57. I can't believe our quality of life is still climbing. That's amazing. So this district is going to be residential security. Uh, sports complexes. I don't think I need much more food. Yeah, 19. Heck yeah. 28? Heck yeah. That's perfect. That's really going to help the project. So, sports complex. Where's the corner here? I call that the corner. And I call that the corner. They take the longest to build. 84 days. I think that's the longest facility at all, right? Yeah, even... So, here's the funny thing. Check this out. The command center. The heart and soul of everything. Without it, you cannot trade. You cannot talk to your advisors. There, there's a lot of things you're just crippled on if you don't have a command center. It takes 42 days. The sports complex is where you see people kick a ball around. It maybe also sells hot dogs. Or those pizza bagels. And I'm sure something alcoholic. It takes twice as long. <laughs> The, the Jumbotron is probably what takes the extra 42 days to install. <laughs> I'm not disparaging sports. I'm just saying the logic here is funny. Here, here, check this out. A nuclear or fusion or whatever power station this is takes 70 days. A power station. Even life support takes less time. Something that converts the, the atmosphere of the planet into something breathable takes shorter amounts of time than the sports arena. That's, that's funny to me. Call me a nerd or whatever, because I am. But that's that's bloody funny. Okay. Enough with the gabbin. Okay, 
now, I would like more hospitals. We've only still been working with the few hospitals that we started with the game on. That's actually interesting. Usually I treat hospitals like I do the security centers. Just sprinkle them in here and there. Make sure you get good coverage, but make sure you keep building them. Uh, having extra doctors is great. Um, especially considering we now have like 30 doctors and a thousand people. Eh, those odds still aren't bad, but I don't know how much the game emphasizes that sort of a thing. Uh, how many tanks we got now? 37? Yeah, wait. Why are you damaged? 14, 16. Are you damaged? You're not damaged. You're damaged. I'm assuming an air uh, an aircraft of some sort got through or something, because there's no other explanation for why some of these vehicles are damaged. Okay, solar eclipse, big surprise, kind of saw that coming. That's why I built more power stations. So, ding, ding, holy crap, hospitals are expensive. I don't know if building three that early in the game was smart, considering that was a big chunk of my budget, but I was happy to do it. I think that really paid off long term, so I don't mind. How close are we to those power stations? Oh, we have we have some distance. Oh yeah, the whole reason I'm building all this crap because then I would have colonists for Dink. Where is the hospital? We're gonna fix that right now. Uh, I know I'm close. Hey, hey, get the baby making. Making the babies. Start making the babies. Oh, it's 20 medics per hospital, not. I saw the number 60, and I was like, I think I only built three hospitals. Either way. I know, I heard you the first time, I accidentally clicked it again. So the eclipse is now over. Fantastic. Sell that ore. Sell the tech. 25 is a good price. Don't sell gems at 27. That's terrible. We're going to add maybe two or three more rows of just residential. Maybe some more workshops. Uh, we have the two sports centers. We have the three hospitals. We're still building pretty evenly. I'm liking how this is turning out. This is going to provide a lot of extra space. We're probably going to be able to stay on high birth rate for, I don't know, three, four, five months maybe. Um, then we'll have to switch over and get some more food production. Like, it's all, we just got to be careful with this. If you tip the scale way too hard in one direction, it becomes really problematic considering we'd have to overcompensate the other side. So, for the real thing, is if we build way too much residential, that means we need way more food and air support and power because we're building all those extra ancillary structures. Um, if we build too... Oh, there we go. we build too much hydroponics to start with, uh, we don't have storage for other commodities and such. So, I mean, you just gotta be careful with this. It's, it's slow tilt... Hey! Hot damn! Congratulations, you've achieved a quality of life of 60%. Earth commends you as a colony leader and awards you the colonial... Eagle Medal for Distinguished Service. Dude, he looks vicious. He looks like the angry eagle of war and destruction. Those yellow eyes, you don't know what I've seen. I've seen lesser men crap their pants or something. I don't know. I tried an eagle voice. I don't have an eagle voice. Kaka! That's a crow. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> do 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 good prices oh my god trade if, if this game didn't have trade I would be screwed I would not be in a good spot if there wasn't a way to just do this kind of economic stuff like for, and we're only using one plot like we're using one plot of ore I think like 80% of it and we're using a third of a plot of fuel like we we have more room for expansion it's not that big of a deal and there's so much extra reserves on this map we could use. So it's still kind of funny how much potential there is for income and how much we're not even using. So I just want to get a few more. No, nope, I don't. I didn't mean that last one. Thanks. So more hydroponics, more housing. We're going to go back to that space moss area. 
I think the actual life support building is 400 and each of these only produce 100. So the thing is it's more expensive, but the benefit is we're using land that was unusable before. That's really the bulk of it. Is that space moss crap you can't build on at all. You can't do anything with it, so it's nice that we can actually build something on it and utilize it. Okay, let's just bump this up a bunch. Uh, we're gonna hang on to that ore. I am, however, dropping the tax rate. Now, let's take a look at what our psych advisor says. Holy crap! Yeah, that's a high birth rate. That's what, five, six, five times? Five times the death? Holy crap. Oh yeah, we're gonna have plenty of people. I need to turn that down to medium. Uh, I need more power. <laughs> Your power stations are creating a lot of pollution. Please build more solar panels. I don't, I don't want to, okay? It can go on medium for a while. Holy buckets. That scared me. I built all that new residential and the number was exactly the same. It was like 73 when we checked it and I was like, hey, let's build some more residential districts and see what we can do with that. And then we built all that crap and then it's like, oh, the number didn't even change because we need so many more. Okay, power. Uh... I don't want to contaminate my residential district with more power plants. I still want to keep my power plants as far away from... Where the hell is it? There it is. As far away from the residential as possible. If it's truly polluting, it makes more sense having an industry sector or a mining sector have the power plants buried inside of it rather than it, you know, cradling the residential area. There. That's plenty of air. So we just satisfied... Oh, that's a lot of residential. Maybe the number has to wait to the end of the month to update. Either way, here's what we're going to do. We're going to call an event, and you're going to see exactly what that does. Ding! Sports event held this month, so I'm unable to build stuff. Because everyone is at the sports event. That's how that works. So let's see, how are we doing on residential? Okay, that's better. So the rest of the residential structures took effect, down to 61% density, this is a birth death rate I can deal with for quite some time. I'm fine with that. Uh, production, way good. I just built the two new power plants or whatever. That'll take care of that. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing, Supreme Leader here? 53 tanks. Yeah, darn right we're developing well. You better believe. Okay, I'm not going to need any more fuel. I'm very confident. We're sitting on so much of the stuff. Oh, ah. remember that thing I said about the sports event and I wanted to show you real quick? <sighs> anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to tick down September. We're going to... Did I trade? The thing is, you trade so often in this game, I kind of space if I do or don't. I didn't. Ha, hot dog. And weapons at 19. Sell that down a little bit. Yes. Perfect. Good amount of cash on hand, seventy thousand. We've we're certainly making hand over fist on trade. And that's been paying off, uh, very literally. <laughs> so we're gonna tick down the rest of September, give everyone a nice time at the sports arena. Hopefully that'll jump up our quality of life. I don't know, two, three percent maybe. I I don't I don't know. We haven't thrown one yet. And then what we'll do is we're going to go to war next episode because this is ticking down. So September, October, October's our month of construction. We're going to slap down like four more power plants. And then um, maybe some stores. I think I want to throw down, we'll check our storage situation. Other than that, yeah, bing, bing, yeah, it's, it's a month-long event. So now I can actually use my peoples. Okay, three more power plants is good. Let's check our store right there. There's one. Hello. 6,000. That's not bad. Okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, we're going to do our trade, and then I'm going to call us an episode. And then, yeah, next turn, next, uh, next episode, we are going to war. We've got plenty of tanks, and I'm itching for combat. Let's see here. Anything else? Sell ore at three. Blah. Gross. Okay. 
Thanks for joining me, guys. Another episode of Utopia, Creation of a Nation in the Books. My name is John Megacycle, and I'll see you guys next time.